own for years. Mm -hmm. Like, how involved of a process is it? Because you're very particular with what you make. Well, my clients, all of my celebrity clients, were unknowingly my lab rats. <laughs> I tested it all on them. And you know, of course it's all safe stuff and it's all, you know, but it was the proportions and I wanted to make yeah. sure they performed at a very high level because if this make, I needed to make me look better as a makeup artist. So mm -hmm. I also needed to perform at a really high level. So with these people, sweating, singing, mm -hmm. they gotta acting. Have it, they gotta have it on oh, all yeah. day. Winning their awards, all that stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, you're gonna see our gorgeous model apply it live. Um, the other thing that we wanna show you, just cause we wanted to give you an in-depth look at this, um, is the thing that when you think about this, like we've contoured my face that you've seen with like the darker shades that we have available. But when you see this little bullseye effect, it's really nice because that's like the blending key. But when you go to put this on, it kind of melts on your skin, like you heat it up. Oh yeah. No, this is, it has to look like skin. And if it's very, like a talky, dense kind of formula, it's going to sit on top of the skin and not become mm -hmm. part of the skin. And skin is everything. And especially when um, my actresses are doing film. Yeah. And it's a close up this big. Yeah. And their face is 40 feet wide on a, on a screen. Yeah. And that's what you see is what they got. And so you really, you want it to perform correct, blur. Mm -hmm. But you don't want it to look like makeup because no. But I like though that like if you want to, if you want this to look like more coverage, it seems buildable. Oh, it's very yeah. Let me show you how you can cover with this. Let me see. This is the medium somewhere. I don't you have, have my the medium. glasses on. That's the tan. This, that's a tan. This what is are you trying also to do? The tan. Okay, well I'll take this one. Whatever, I'll show you. This is my tattoo. Okay, it says possible. Possible. And <gasps> ooh. I'm not even trying, and it's covering it. Wow. Okay. But I love so it gives that, like full. when you see like how that's blending into your skin, like that doesn't really look like makeup. Oh no, and I'm not even like tapping on this or blending it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it just becomes part of the skin, and that's the wrong color that I use. If I used a color that was a little bit warmer, it would cover it completely. Yeah. So you can see that it's completely buildable. Mm -hmm. Full coverage. And I mean, for a night out, like one of the things that I love about foundation is like you fully contoured me. But like the other thing is like, if we wanted something that was like a little more natural, like maybe like less structured, do you still contour a little bit, just go lighter? Or what does that look like from Absolutely. day to night? Well, you can, you know, it's like, um, you can do everything a little bit more for, for evening, you yes. know, but at the same time, you might want to mat out certain sections of your face. Mm -hmm. You could play up texture a little bit more, um, but, I think that overall, it's this kind of look is perfectly acceptable for day or night because you don't look overdone and there's no lines on your face. No. Once you start painting lines, like unblended lines, then it becomes theatrical and cosmetic, yeah. which is gorgeous. We yes. love that. Yes. But it is a time and a place, and sometimes the daytime is a little bit not the stage for it. I feel yeah. Well, take a look at this application too, because like that's the other thing that I love is like anyone can use this, whether you have brushes at home. Like, that's the other thing. Like, if you have, let's say, if you have textural issues mm -hmm. on your complexion, should you use a brush so that you kind of get like that second barrier of like smoothness? Well, it might help you um, to get in within the texture, and if you've got large pores, also it could help. Just. Do um, you hate that about when you get older? It's like you can name your pores. I am old. I am old too. I'm old. I'm old. Somebody help me. Christopher Buckle Someone to help the me. rescue. I'm old. <laughs> no, you know what? It's all a transformation and it's a transition and it's just, you know, you you it's a ride and we're all on it. And there's ways of, you know, leaning into the wind. And if, if you, you will. if you're armed with the right stuff, it's it's a lot less harsh. Okay, so I have to read some of these. Uh, okay, so Lydia's on here saying like your application is so like precise. She's like the emoji of oh, like that's praising sweet. you. Um, and then Caitlin, who said again with your mascara, the precision is amazing. And people just talking about your eyeliner. Misty said, "Da bomb," well, like with me, a heart. Well, I appreciate all of that, but I cannot take credit because actually I designed all of these products so that you can, they perform at a high level with ease. Mm -hmm. Because I'm at a weird angle, I don't know if you could tell, but I don't work like this normally. And I'm, so I'm not doing this in a preci precise yeah. way. Yeah. You know, and I can't even see the side of your face really. And that's how easily it all blends. So it's gonna help you get the effect that you always want without all, uh, you don't need all that technique. Well, just, we have a couple questions on Facebook about like how much foundation is this? How long like does the normal gal get to use this? Okay, well the thing is is that of course, the more you use, the faster it goes, but it's so pigmented yeah. that you don't need a lot of it to get the job done. And it's really important that when you do your foundation, you don't overload. 
stop when it's covered. You don't need all that weight of makeup because even if you're doing a theatrical or a more yeah. glam look, you still want the texture to be beautiful. Right. You know, so you don't need more, you don't need full on coverage wherever, where you don't need any coverage. Exactly. You know? Just a light amount and then go in heavier where you need it. Well, remind us of the shades that we have because we start yeah. with fair and we go all the way to deep. My dream has come true tonight. I've finally gotten into the tan category, which is awesome. It took a lot of layers. It of was a lot tan, of layers. But it's paying off. But I love it. So fair is the lightest of them all and you probably burn um, and freckle in the sun. And then light is a pale golden color. And then there's medium, where most people would be, and that's a, a warm medium tone. And then there's tan for anyone who has a deep tan complexion or spends a lot of time tanning in the sun. And then there's deep, the deepest color, and it has lots of red undertones to neutralize ashiness. Well, let me remind you, you get to bring this home tonight for the price that you see on your screen. Plus, we have three easy payments of free shipping because we are celebrating the Customer Choice Beauty Award nominees tonight. Which brings me to your next product, which you are nominated for a Customer Choice Beauty Award. Did you know that for Best Brow? I heard that just earlier. Congratulations. I can't, thank you. You're welcome. Right. All right. Uh, so we've got two colors. So yes. which? Okay. So brows are here. So I only have one. So we have blonde and dark br uh, dark brunette. So where do you know if, where you fit? Okay. Well, blonde and brunette. The only reason the reason why there's two only is because there's variety thank, within each but one. Thank you for that. Because like I love to change my hair color. I'm not always auburn. I'm not always taupe. I'm not always blonde. Thank no. you for making it easy. The, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, you're getting two colors in each one. So you're getting a dark taupe. Oh, oh, there we go. A dark taupe and a paler taupe. That one's the brunette. And then this is the blonde. And the reason for that is that I only use these shades of taupe for brows because your eyes are like these gorgeous jewels. They're expressive, they're shiny, they're sparkly. And you don't want, the, your eyebrows are the frame to your, to your um, your eyebrows are the frame to your eye, but you don't want to upstage the beauty of your eye. So you want it to be secondary. You want your brows to recede, but you still want them to have shape and structure. Okay? I like I like a like a big brow. Is that okay? I have like Christina well, Aguilera brows. You know she is know. my girl too. I know. I know. I have thin eyebrows, but I gotta tell you, like I feel like it looks amazing on her because she's got like blonde hair. I feel like sometimes like when you're brunette, like they just look so skinny and just like. Blah. Blah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. This is what you get. This is like a little inkwell, and there's a brush in the top. Okay. Like that. Then you've got a pomade. The pomade is not like a paint to paint your brows on. It is really to create a sticky surface, so that these two shades of taupe shadow stick in it here and really last on the. So on it looks the face. like real hair. Right. Perfect. So you don't need a lot of this um, pomade. Okay, so we start with pomade. 